All right, well, today I need to figure out just how to put these wires that come off of the solar panel and get them down inside the bus. So when I bought my solar panel, I also bought one of these guys, uh, which everybody in the RV uses, RV world uses to get the wires from their roof down into the cab of their, or their car. And I don't know if you can see, but it has a grommet that the wire passes through. And as you tighten this outer nut, this thing gets squeezed and so the grommet in there closes around the wire makes a water tight seal so I'm sitting here thinking okay if I use this first of all I need two because eventually I'm gonna put the panel on the front so I'm gonna need one on this side of the vent and then one on the other side of the vent um, for the other panel wires then I started thinking um, of some other options so I wanted to run them by you guys so I'll show you what I'm thinking about um, these things come off pretty easily these little inlet thingy bobs okay so what if instead of using that I took these things off and I'll swing you guys over here so you can see I install these at the front of the vent and pass the wire through the vent. It's windy out here guys so if the wind is bothering you I'm sorry about that. Um, I've already closed the vent to make sure that uh, to make sure that it doesn't hit this when the vent is down and it does not. So in this case I would have this here I would have four of these along the front of this vent because I have two wires on each panel. So I'd have one, two, three, and four, and then the wires would pass inside the vent along the side, um, down on top of my headliner, and down into my forward uh, cabinet that I made. Um, so that's another option. I guess that's option two. Then another option I have is I got a bunch of uh, a bunch of I bought a bunch of these connectors which um, are going to allow me to trim this wire because these, these wires on these panels are too long and then I'll just install these connectors on here uh, to uh, so I can put the wire any length I want so the wires uh, the connectors on the backs they have the same deal on that, that other, the white one I showed you. They have this, this grommet thing with these arms or whatever you call them around the rubber part. And so when you tighten the nut, that squeezes that rubber part, makes a waterproof seal. So I started thinking, what if I take this thing and I drill a hole in here and I put rather than this big thing like this I would put this these connectors in here and then all I'd have out here is this little black black knob that's even cleaner very nice but again I'd need four um, and uh, I mean that just have to be the way it would look there would be four of these in there. I can trim the wire to any length I want. So this wire would pretty much just go like this uh, and into the vent, which is nice. Um, and then I started thinking, well, what if I took this thing and flipped it around so that the connector end of this thing 
is on the outside and nothing is on the inside which I like that idea but then we start having some spacing issues because this would be sitting here and then in this case would be this wire would be connected to it and it would be very close to the edge of that solar panel um, so the wire no matter how I route it this wire can you guys see the wire it's too much sun out here I can't see what's going on uh, this wire is going to be laying on top of the solar panel uh, no matter how I do it there's no way around it uh, that wire is going to sit on top of that solar panel if I do it that way which might not be you know the end of the world um, I don't know how the heat from the solar panel will affect the wire but then I started thinking of another option which would be when I got this solar panel kit it came with these Y connectors okay so these Y connectors what's going to happen is these are the reds so both of the positives from the two panels that I'm going to have up here are going to come into the Y connector and then this is why does it can go come into this Y connector and then you have a single wire that goes into your charge controller so I started thinking well hell what if I take one of these connectors these extra connectors I got I just put it in like that like I had shown you guys on the last mock-up example let's move that out of the way and what would be super would be to connect this Y connector here so that I'd only have to run one wire through the vent and then I'd only have to make two holes which is wonderful but then I'd have all of this sitting on top of this this uh, solar panel and it's not done yet it have to be from there to there so I would have to do some funny routing of the wire which I can do something like that um, and trim the rest off but this whole thing would be sitting on top of the solar panel and I'd, I'm not sure that's a great idea I don't like that idea um, so for this application on this bus I think the easiest and the best looking uh, option although this would be nice to have it it'd be nice to have a disconnect right here so I can just unplug this and be done with it um, I'll have to look and see if they have some 90 degree ones because they have 90 degree ones that would help me a little bit uh, but if I don't find any 90 degree connectors what I'm gonna do is go with I think the option of putting this this way and uh, so essentially this will be on the outside of this vent something like that and I'll have four of them I mean that's just gonna be the way it is there'll be two on this side and two on the other side and I'll just run the wire through there um, and run use it as a conduit rather than a connector because I have plenty of these so those are my options right now I'm gonna think about it I'm gonna do some research and see if they have a, a 90 degree connector I could buy um, which would put just like that. I'd still run out of room though even if I had a 90 well, if I had a 90 and I put it on the side that might work 
but then we also run into the fact that to disconnect this, you have to squeeze these guys like that. And if I sit this like right here, it makes it really hard to squeeze to disconnect it. And even if I had it right here, it's still, it's still sitting on top of the panel. So those are my options. I mean, using one of these is not a bad option. Uh, and that is why I bought the thing. So it's, it's, it may be what I end up doing, but it just does not look, I'd rather have it look really, really clean. And when I say really, really clean, I mean something like trim this wire and have it go just directly into the vent. When it's directly into the vent, that's a nice clean look. Um, I'll just have to cut four holes and do all the connectors inside the vent. Uh, that's probably what's going to look best. All right. Talk to you guys in a little while.